Welcome to Cindy Certified Recipes. The other day my husband and I got a chance to go fishing and he landed this whopper trout. So whenever I have a nice fresh piece of fish, the first thing that turns to my mind is cooking it on a cedar plank. That light fresh flavor of cedar infused in the fish really makes it spectacular. So let's go get that fish and get that show on the road. Here's half that beautiful fish, which is plenty for my husband and I for our meal. And I'm gonna start this off by uh, giving it a light brine. And so what I like to do is just get a good quality salt and I'm gonna pretty much cover it in salt. And you're gonna think, OMG, she's ruining it. <laughs> but this is all gonna go on and sit for a few minutes and then it's gonna get rinsed off. And then I just cover it in brown sugar, pat it on, and the amount will vary depending on the size of the fish you have. I also do this same technique when I have a nice piece of salmon, but I leave it on a little longer for the salmon because it's usually thicker and um, salmon isn't quite as delicate as the trout. And this is uh, just your generic pickling spice. And I just cover that pickling spice. Now, just a little bit of black pepper. And then what I like to do is to get the action going a little quicker, is I'll sprinkle just a little water on there um, if you have the time to wait, the moisture in the fish will start moistening all that, but I just like to get it going by just dropping a little bit of water on there. You can use a spray bottle too, but this is easier. Just like that. You don't want it too wet because the moisture will come out of the fish and all that Brine is going to work down in there and we're going to let that sit about 15 minutes and then I'll rinse it off and it's going to go right on the grill. So here's our cedar board all nice and soaked and our piece of fish. And what I like to do at this point is give it a little coating of some lemon butter and there's a little bit of thyme in there. And so I just put a little bit of that on there. And then one thing I found that's great is this umami seasoning from Trader Joe's. And I put a little bit of that. And we're gonna close that grill and we're gonna watch it. Uh, one thing I recommend is always having a bottle of water here in case there's flare ups with the wood. And I have this all in medium heat and we're gonna keep an eye on that. We've hit about the halfway point. What I like to do here is I like to add some fresh thyme sprigs. To the fish. And then coat them with a little bit of that lemon butter so that they don't burn. Close it back up and let it go the rest of the time. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes and our fish is looking very nice. There's a nice char on the wood, giving off a nice amount of smoke. And we're gonna take that off and put it on a platter here. I like to use a couple of spatulas. like that and we're going to take that inside. Look how beautiful this fish turns out on the cedar plank. I like to keep these cedar planks around, uh, keep a stack of them around because you never know when the mood's going to strike to cook something on a cedar plank. And so I'm going to cut this up and put it on the plate.
And I paired this with some grilled apples and some grilled asparagus and a very easy pasta that's just mixed with butter, um, some dried chive, and just a little bit of pepper. It's one of my go-to sides that I like to do. And you can see this fish is absolutely gorgeous. It's moist, it's flavorful. Everyone's gonna love it. Just about anything you cook on a grill is even better cooked on a cedar plank. It's totally worth the little extra effort that makes the ordinary extraordinary. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. And remember, if it's time-tested, top-notch ingredients, and the talk of the table, it's Cindy Certified.